Hello, friend Mormo here. And it's Scream Weekend. Scream opened up today. Of course, in some cities, they had a showing yesterday. They open it the day before it's announced that it's open now. But, uh... I don't know. I'm, I've just decided it's not my responsibility to uh, pay, buy a ticket for every horror reboot that comes out of Hollywood. That's always how I used to feel. That it was my responsibility to buy a ticket for every horror movie that comes out in theaters. So that they'd make money and they'd continue making them and all that. But I've changed my mind. And uh, I just decided that I got friends with movies that need support. And that's a lot more important than like these millionaire Hollywood people and everything. I got friends who are just trying to pay their bills with movie making money. And I'd much rather support my friends than these like Hollywood cocaine pool party types. And I got a friend named Gregory Lamberson. On Facebook we're friends. And uh, I want to say that I sent him a friend request after I bought a book he wrote about independent filmmaking. And he either wrote the book or he was interviewed for the book. I can't exactly remember, but we've been Facebook friends for years. And recently I invested some money in his movie Guns of Eden. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I'm really looking forward to that coming out. But he just announced either today or yesterday that he's got one of his movies got put on Tubi and it's a real dumb story where like I, I mean I haven't seen the movie yet but the dumb story is is that he had it on Amazon Prime and then Amazon booted his movie off because it looked too much like an adult movie and uh, so he got purged from Amazon Prime and apparently he was real upset about that. But now Tubi has his movie. And it's called Killer Rack. And I know that uh, Debbie Rashawn stars in it. And I'm either friends with her or I follow her fan page on Facebook. I'm not exactly sure. But I met her years ago too. She's real nice and real cool and stuff. Real smart too. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this movie, Killer Rack. Uh, my friend described it as being a Zucker Brothers style movie. So it's going to be like Airplane and uh, Top Secret and all that. Like a spoof with the joke every few seconds. And so I really enjoy that style of movie. And uh, this one looks real good. And getting back to Scream real quick, the first movie is an absolute classic. It's like up there with any of the horror classics. It's like a top 10 classic. But the sequels were all pretty weak. And I also had problems with the guy who wrote Scream. I remember reading interviews with him and he was saying that like, he basically created the modern horror movie and, and all this and I felt all he did was lift plots from like 80s young adult fiction books because the plots read just like those books I read when I was a kid and then he made like in jokes about horror movies and stuff and made it self aware so to me, the, the story of Scream wasn't anything new. I had read several stories just like it in young adult fiction in the 80s. And so I, I remember having issues with the guy who wrote Scream back in the day.
back in the 90s or whatever. So I may or may not go see Scream. It's supposed to snow here tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna be snowed in for a few days and then I'm supposed to visit with my friend Andy. But, um, so I may or may not go see Scream 5 on the big screen. I don't know. But tonight I'm gonna watch Killer Rack and it's on Tubi. And uh, I'm gonna show you me ordering it or playing it on TV. So stick around and then stick around even longer and I'll tell you what I thought of the movie. So just keep watching. Okay, so here I am on my Roku and I'm gonna go over to Tubi. And Tubi's an awesome channel. You have to dig for the good like indie movies. I tried to do a 2B review thing in October, but I had all this drama going on and just got in a real negative headspace. Uh-oh, what's going on with 2B? Let me try that again. Oh no, my internet is freaking out. My Roku is freaking out. Hold on a second. Okay, friend, I unplugged and plugged back in my Roku and reset it. And now it's on 2B TV. 2B TV is loading now. It's take, here we go. This is taking longer than I expected, but it's worth it. At least the movie will be free. It's, um, free with ads. They'll be advertising, so I'll probably see like Gain detergent ads they're advertising everywhere right now so I'm gonna go to search K-I-L-L-E hmm killer Oh, I'm not seeing it yet. Hmm, I'm still not seeing it. There we go. Killer Rack. From the director of Slime City comes a screwball horror comedy about a murderous set of monstrous memories, Killer Rack. In a world that prizes breast size over accomplishments, Betty Downer just can't get a break, scorned by her co-workers, ridiculed by her boyfriend, and overlooked by her boss. Betty impulsively books breast enhancement surgery with the elder gods worshipping Dr. Kate Thulu, and then all hell breaks loose. Wow, this sounds incredible. Let's, let's, let's watch it now. I can't wait. I'm so stoked to see this. Okay, friend, I'm back. I watched Killer Rack. It was awesome. It was a great movie to uh, kill a few beers to, for sure. It was very funny. Um, great performances by Debbie Rashawn and Lloyd Kaufman, who I've both met. I've met both of them, and they did great performances in this movie and uh it was really cool because it had like a lovecraft story and uh it's basically about this woman who feels unsatisfied with life and thinks that the reason her life isn't better is because uh her boobs are too small and she wants to get bigger boobs and goes to a a uh, plastic surgeon 
and but the surgeons W Rashawn and she worships like uh the great old ones from Lovecraft and she transfers these like monsters into the woman's boobs and it's really funny and it has great music it has musical numbers and uh lloyd kaufman was really great and um debbie rashawn was great all of the acting was great the uh sorry my cat wants to be in the video my uh it was all all of the acting was great the woman who betty who um was the lead actress was great and uh everybody in the movie was great it was really funny and uh really entertaining there wasn't that many ads i think there was only like three or four ad breaks so hopefully uh there's not an issue with Tubi getting ads or something because I know a lot of independent filmmakers get their money from Tubi and I want to be on Tubi that's why I'm going to school so that I can do my business and uh I did my school work tonight and looked into my other class and uh, it's all right now I'm off through the University of Michigan but this movie was great it had a plus nudity not a whole lot and I think that's why it got kicked off of Amazon Prime is because it looks like a movie that has nudity and like Hollywood and the mainstream is so against nudity now where like Hollywood movies don't even have nudity in them anymore. You have to go to like art theaters to see movies that have nudity now. And this movie had great nudity and um and I got really toxic on Twitter tonight and my buddy called my buddy called me out on Facebook for being toxic and creating a debatical about every new horror movie that comes out but I'm I'm kind of glad I stayed home and just watched this movie and just killed a few beers and watched my friend's movie on Tubi. I really think you should watch it on Tubi. It had some great special effects too. The uh, creature effects were really awesome. And uh, the humor was really funny. And it kind of pointed out the absurdity of like sexuality. And I got a kick out of that. It was like a comedy about sexuality in a way and and uh it was really great i really recommend it definitely check it out and uh th I, now I'm, now i don't know if i'm gonna monetize this review or not i guess i probably won't i got two channels one of them's monetized one of them isn't but like I can get in trouble if I monetize something that's not popular with sponsors. So normally I put that on my alternate channel, but more people watch my main channel where I'm a partner. So maybe I'll just upload this to my main channel and not monetize it. Because movie reviews don't make much anyways. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. And definitely check out Killer Rack on Tubi. It's, uh, I give it 5 out of 5. It was really hilarious, really entertaining. Um, I, I can't say I got scared. I got um, a little uncomfortable, but mostly just because I got so toxic online tonight. But uh, anyways, thanks so much for watching. Please comment. Please thumbs up.
please subscribe, please ring the bell, and please share because sharing is caring, and thanks so much.